Introduction The Battle of Stalingrad, raging from July 1942 to February 1943, stands as a monumental chapter in the annals of World War II, epitomizing the extremes of human courage, despair, and brutality. This battle, more than any other, encapsulated the sheer terror and unyielding suspense that characterized the Eastern Front. It was not just a military confrontation but a clash of ideologies and national wills. In the scorching summer of 1942, the Nazi war machine, emboldened by a string of victories, set its sights on the Soviet Union's heartland. Operation Blau was launched with the dual objectives of seizing the oil-rich Caucasus and capturing Stalingrad, a city bearing the name of Soviet leader Joseph Stalin making it a prize of symbolic and strategic value. As the German army advanced, the Soviet Union braced itself for a battle that would test the limits of human endurance. Stalingrad, a bustling city on the Volga River, soon became the focal point of an epic struggle. The initial German assault promised a quick victory, but the Soviet resistance was unexpectedly fierce. The battle rapidly transformed into a relentless grind, with both sides fighting for every street, building, and rubble heap. The city, once a symbol of Soviet modernity, turned into a charnel house, with its inhabitants caught in the maelstrom of war. As the battle progressed, the stakes rose exponentially. The German 6th Army, confident and well-equipped, found itself locked in a deadly embrace with the Red Army, which fought with a desperate determination fueled by patriotism and the knowledge that retreat was not an option. What ensued was a conflict marked by extraordinary heroism and horrifying atrocity, a battle that would dramatically alter the course of the war. Expanding on the key points of the Battle of Stalingrad with more detailed historical facts, personal stories, and vivid descriptions, the initial onslaught The Battle of Stalingrad commenced on July 17, 1942, with a ferocious air and artillery bombardment by the German forces. The Luftwaffe, commanded by Wolfram von Richthofen, unleashed a rain of destruction upon the city, reducing much of it to rubble. This initial assault was not just a military tactic but also a psychological weapon, designed to break the spirit of the Soviet defenders and civilians alike. As the German infantry advanced, they were met with unexpected resistance. The Soviet 62nd Army, under the command of General Vasily Chukov, adopted a strategy of hugging the enemy, forcing the Germans into close-quarter combat and negating their air and artillery advantages. The battle quickly degenerated into a hellish war of attrition, with soldiers fighting for every ruin, street, and factory. Stories emerged of small units holding out in isolated pockets, such as Pavlov's house, where a platoon-sized unit of Soviet soldiers defended a four-story building for almost two months. The Turning of the Tide Despite initial setbacks, the Soviet defense began to stabilize by late summer. Reinforcements, including fresh divisions and conscripted civilians, bolstered the Soviet lines. Amidst this desperate defense, personal stories of heroism and sacrifice became commonplace. Snipers like Vasily Zaitsev became symbols of resistance, striking fear into the hearts of German soldiers. In November 1942, the Soviets, under the strategic guidance of Generals Zhukov and Alexandrov, launched Operation Uranus. This counteroffensive was a masterstroke in military strategy, catching the Axis forces off guard. The Soviet armies encircled the German 6th Army, trapping over 2,50,000 men in a freezing, besieged city. The encirclement was a pivotal moment, marking the beginning of the end for the German forces in Stalingrad. The Siege and the Surrender The encircled German forces, led by General Friedrich Paulus, faced a dire situation. The cold winter, coupled with dwindling food and medical supplies, led to a humanitarian catastrophe. Soldiers and civilians alike suffered from frostbite, starvation, and diseases. Despite repeated pleas, 
Hitler refused to allow the Sixth Army to attempt a breakout or to surrender. The Soviet forces tightened their grip, launching continuous attacks to weaken the already fading German resistance. Airdrops were insufficient, and morale plummeted as the reality of their situation became apparent. The last-ditch effort by the German forces to relieve the Sixth Army, Operation Winter Storm, failed, sealing the fate of the trapped soldiers. On February 2, 1943, after enduring more than two months of relentless cold, hunger, and combat, the remnants of the German Sixth Army surrendered. The surrender was not just a military defeat but also a psychological blow to the Nazi regime. The once invincible German war machine had been decisively beaten. The onset of the battle As the German Wehrmacht approached Stalingrad, their initial advances were marked by rapid gains. Luftwaffe bombings had turned much of the city into rubble, setting the stage for one of the most brutal urban battles in history. The Soviet defenders, however, were determined to hold their ground. This resolve was epitomized in orders like not a step back, reflecting a desperation that transcended conventional warfare. The terror of the battle became palpable as both armies engaged in close quarters combat. The city's ruins turned into deadly labyrinths, with soldiers fighting for control of every room, stairwell, and factory. Civilians trapped in the city faced a nightmare, with dwindling supplies and constant danger. The relentless German advance met an equally stubborn Soviet resistance, creating a deadlock of unprecedented ferocity. The height of the conflict By autumn, the battle had reached its zenith. The Soviets, under the command of Generals Zhukov and Chukov, orchestrated a defense that turned Stalingrad into a death trap for the Germans. Sniper duels became a hallmark of this phase, with figures like Vasily Zaitsev gaining legendary status. The psychological impact of these snipers on German troops was immense, adding a layer of fear to the already harrowing conditions. Amidst this chaos, acts of incredible bravery and barbarity occurred. Soldiers on both sides endured extreme hunger, cold, and fatigue. The terror of the environment was palpable, with the constant sound of gunfire and the sight of casualties serving as grim reminders of the battle stakes. The Soviet Counteroffensive In November 1942, the Soviets launched Operation Uranus, a massive counteroffensive that caught the Germans off guard. This maneuver aimed to encircle and trap the German 6th Army in Stalingrad. The plan worked flawlessly, cutting off German forces from supplies and reinforcements. The encirclement marked a dramatic shift in the battle's dynamics, sowing panic and despair among the German troops. The German high command, underestimating the severity of the situation, repeatedly failed to mount an effective relief effort. Meanwhile, the encircled German soldiers faced starvation, frostbite, and a relentless Soviet assault. The situation for the Germans deteriorated rapidly, turning from a military setback into a catastrophe. The Fall of Stalingrad By early 1943, the situation within Stalingrad had become untenable for the Germans. The final Soviet push was characterized by fierce fighting, but the outcome was inevitable. In February, the German 6th Army, led by General Paulus, surrendered. The city, once a vibrant metropolis, lay in ruins, a testament to the battle's ferocity. The aftermath was grim. The death toll was staggering, with hundreds of thousands of soldiers and civilians dead. The psychological and physical scars would linger for decades, marking survivors and shaping memories of the conflict. Impact and Legacy The Battle of Stalingrad is widely regarded as the turning point of World War II in Europe. It shattered the myth of Nazi invincibility and boosted allied morale. For the Soviet Union, it was a symbol of resilience and sacrifice, a narrative that would become central to Soviet war memory. In the broader context of history, Stalingrad stands as a chilling reminder of the horrors of war.
It is a testament to human endurance in the face of unimaginable hardship and a warning about the costs of hubris and the devastation of total war. To expand on the aftermath of the Battle of Stalingrad with more detailed historical facts, personal stories, and vivid descriptions. Strategic Turning Point The Battle of Stalingrad, ending in February 1943, was indeed a watershed moment in World War II, particularly on the Eastern Front. Its conclusion signaled a profound shift in the momentum of the war. For the first time, the Nazi war machine, which had seemed invincible as it swept across Europe and into Russia, experienced a decisive defeat. This battle irrevocably damaged the myth of German invincibility, reshaping the strategic landscape of the war. The victory at Stalingrad had an electrifying effect on the morale of the Soviet troops and the civilian population. It bolstered the resolve of the Allies, demonstrating that the Axis powers could be defeated. The battle also marked the beginning of a series of Soviet offensives that would eventually lead to the fall of Berlin in 1945. Devastation of the German Army The defeat of the German Sixth Army at Stalingrad was catastrophic. The Sixth Army, under the command of General Friedrich Paulus, was considered one of the Wehrmacht's premier fighting forces. Its encirclement and eventual surrender represented not only a massive loss of manpower and material but also a profound psychological blow to the German military and Hitler's leadership. Over 90,000 German soldiers were taken prisoner at Stalingrad, many of whom were starved, frostbitten, and suffering from severe trauma. The harsh conditions of Soviet prisoner of war camps and the long marches to these camps claimed many lives. Personal accounts from survivors describe the despair and hopelessness that pervaded the ranks of the German troops as they were marched into captivity, many never to return. Human Cost and Suffering The human cost of the Battle of Stalingrad was staggering. It is estimated that the battle resulted in over a million casualties, making it one of the bloodiest battles in human history. Both military and civilian populations endured unimaginable hardships. The city of Stalingrad itself was reduced to rubble, with its buildings, infrastructure, and homes destroyed. Survivor accounts from both sides describe the horrors of the battle, the bitter cold, the constant hunger, and the ever-present threat of death. Civilians trapped in the city during the siege faced extreme deprivation and danger. The battle left deep psychological scars on those who experienced it, and the stories of individual suffering and resilience are numerous and poignant. Legacy of Stalingrad the Battle of Stalingrad has since been etched into the collective memory of humanity as a symbol of tenacity, sacrifice, and the brutality of total war. It is a reminder of the depths of human endurance and the catastrophic consequences of military overreach. The battle is extensively commemorated in Russia and beyond, with memorials, films, literature, and educational programs dedicated to remembering this pivotal moment in history. In the decades following the war, Stalingrad, now Volgograd, has been rebuilt, but the memories and lessons of the battle remain deeply ingrained in the city's identity. The battle's impact extended beyond the immediate military and political outcomes, influencing post-war geopolitical dynamics and contributing significantly to the eventual Allied victory in World War II. Continuing from where we left off, Further expanding on the aftermath of the Battle of Stalingrad. Psychological and Cultural Impact The psychological aftermath of the Battle of Stalingrad was profound for both the Axis and Allied powers. For the Soviet Union, the victory became a symbol of national resilience and determination. It was a testament to the ability of the Soviet people to withstand and overcome immense hardships. This narrative of endurance and sacrifice was woven into the fabric of Soviet national identity and became a cornerstone of Soviet wartime propaganda. On the German side, the defeat shattered the aura of invincibility surrounding the Nazi regime. The loss of the Sixth Army was a severe blow to German morale and had a demoralizing effect on the German population, 
who had been assured of a quick victory in the USSR. The defeat at Stalingrad marked the beginning of a long retreat for German forces, and it significantly altered German military strategy for the remainder of the war. Culturally, the Battle of Stalingrad has been immortalized in literature, film, and art. It has been the subject of numerous books, both non-fiction and fiction, that explore the human dimension of this epic conflict. Films and documentaries have portrayed the intense combat and the human suffering of both soldiers and civilians, contributing to the battle's legacy in global memory. Economic and Political Repercussions the battle had significant economic and political repercussions. The Soviet victory at Stalingrad was a key factor in securing the support of the Allies, particularly in terms of receiving aid and opening up a second front in Europe. This support was instrumental in the Soviet Union's ability to continue the fight against the Axis powers. For Germany, the loss meant a significant depletion of resources and a strategic shift in focus. The defeat forced Germany to divert resources to the Eastern Front that could have been used elsewhere, significantly weakening their overall war effort. This setback, along with the subsequent defeats in North Africa and Italy, marked the beginning of the end for Nazi Germany. Remembering Stalingrad The memory of the Battle of Stalingrad continues to resonate. Annual commemorations and memorials serve as solemn reminders of the war's devastation. In Volgograd, the Mamayev Kurgan Memorial Complex, including the towering statue the Motherland Calls, stands as a poignant tribute to the sacrifices made during the battle. These commemorations are not only about honoring those who fought and died but also about reflecting on the lessons learned from one of history's darkest chapters.